Hare Krishna and good morning from Baco de Chile. This is the village where Krishna Kishore is planning his huge farm community project. And as you can see, there are already signs of Krishna here, a local hair salon or beauty salon. And we're about to meet Krishna Kishore to show us around, show us the vision for the project and introduce you to, to his family who has been here. I think his mother's side is originally from this village and it's an amazing place. Amazing in terms of the cultural heritage, nature. The whole track of land is surrounded by grazing cows, horses, buffaloes and a river. Natural river stream where locals bathe, swim. They keep the river very clean. Just like here behind me you can see the river. And overall, a really conducive place to apply Krishna Consciousness principles in nature, in the countryside, here in Mexico. Oaxaca State. Bananas everywhere. Look at these bananas. Mangoes. About to get ripe. Welcome to Bajos de Chile. We're here sitting in this beautiful scenery in the middle of the river. Who could have imagined? Two city boys, me from Montreal, Tel Aviv, and Krishna Kishore who grew up in Mexico City. And we're here for the purpose of speaking about farm, farm community, conscious living and simple living in the countryside. Krishna Kishore invited me to come and witness how his project is developing here. And a little bit about how I know Krishna Kishore. We met in Spain a few years ago and just before I started my YouTube channel or I think in the middle of, of starting my YouTube channel, we met for a few days and we didn't speak for pretty much a few years. And while I was in Florida considering where to go next, I got a message from him and other associates telling me, oh, why don't you go and check out what Krishna Kishore is up for. And I'm very excited, very excited to be here because something very wonderful awaits here. Anyone who considers simple living, high thinking. I wanted to introduce Krishna Kishore Prabhu and let him share about what led him to this stage of his life when he shifting from city life to the countryside, his spiritual life and his integrity in doing so. Hare yeah. Krishna. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Yeah, actually, why I shifted from the city to the countryside is because I saw that people in the city are suffering even more than in the villages because they are lacking two things, and that is God consciousness and also nature. They are so stressed there, and sometimes it's difficult for them uh, to concentrate on some uh, spiritual practice because of the way of living they, they have. So in that way, I, I got inspired because I have family here from my mom's side and then they are like, they, they are dedicated to agriculture, to cow production products. Mm -hmm. Many products. generations already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they are like very expert in, in these fields. So I just got inspired and I thought that maybe we can do like a nice project where we can teach people how to live uh, depending on God and depending on nature, these two things. So they can mm -hmm. practice a spiritual life in this amazing environment you know you have here coconut you have mango you have papaya you have several fruits you have cows the mm -hmm. weather allows you to grow up uh, so many different uh, 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 vegetables fruits mm -hmm. so that's it's why very conducive it's very conducive and i and i met actually personally krishna kishore's family and their deep connection to their own root culture is in, in there is so much goodness there and so much um, I felt so much welcomed by I felt like this is my you know my Krishna Kishore basically invited me uh, uh, as part of his as part of, to associate as part of his family here and it's very very special and also I noticed that many many of the locals already have the uh, native Indian cows here right that's something that walking here we can see the cows are grazing in the pasturing grounds just behind the river sometimes they go inside the river too and we can see their indigenous Indian cows even here yeah actually that is uh, very auspicious mm. and also because probably Ramachandra Prabhu is gonna show that here neem trees mm. uh, they they grow very nicely so I think that is that is auspicious the idea of this project is to invite people 
who are interested in practicing Krishna consciousness in these uh, nice environments. So for that we are planning to, to get some huge lands and there we can build a temple that maybe later on you are going to see in the website, in our website, uh, some pictures of the 3D uh, model of the temple and the, the community because it's not only the temple but also we are planning to have this Guruku, uh, to have this Gosha, the mm -hmm. temple and also the idea is that there is that want to take part of this community they can come they can buy lands uh, surrounding the, the temple area and then they can they can grow food they can be dedicated to, to agriculture or to cow protection it, it may be even in, independently but the, the whole idea is not just to make like a close community like the idea is to to really have uh, a Prabhupada's village mm. here, not only like a community, but you know, you see the village. In the village, uh, there are people who are dedicated to, to the cows, to mm. agriculture. They have a particular trade. Yeah, like kind of Vaishyas, you have these uh, kind of Kshatriyas, uh, even Brahmanas, uh, you have Shudras, so the idea is to, to mm. build this community in that way, more like a, like a village, mm. Prabhupada's village. Yeah, like rela relating that to my experience here, it really seems that it's already so Varnashram like. Yeah. Varnashram -like. People live independently from God's mercy, from the vegetables that they grow, the cows that they milk, and introducing Krishna consciousness here, it's so, uh, it seems like it's just part of the next step here in, in the village. Yeah, yeah, because people is already, they have like this bad ground or very culture, uh, more or less in some way or other. So we just want to introduce Krishna and as you, as you may know, uh, some of my family relatives, uh, they already are into mm. Krishna consciousness. So this is very helpful because they want to, to help us. Uh, some devotees already are willing to come here and they are already uh, arranging for the visa situation to to mm. come to live to to Puerto Escondido, Oaxaca, and also the idea is to to preach in the city. This is Bajos de Chila, but there is a very near city which is called Puerto Escondido, like 15 minutes from Bajos de Chila, and then we want to open also a preaching center there, a Govinda's mm. restaurant, so all the people from Puerto Escondido can get uh, the benefit and they can feel also attracted to to the village to come to, to our community, to the temple, and also people from the city. Because you know, the life in the city is very complicated. And now we are realizing that with this COVID situation, we are seeing this lockdown, this, that. Yeah. But you can see here in the village, nothing is going on yeah. about this, this COVID. People is free, they come to swim to the river. Yeah. They people take are really independent in their quality of life, quality of living. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we don't want to depend on the city. So we are inviting also people from the city to come live here and learn about uh, Krishna consciousness. In terms of arranging the village situation, people are invited to come and purchase land or come and rent uh, uh, a particular like housing that you will be offering. How it like how technically it will work? Yeah, uh, we know that there are. Uh, different devotees. We are uh, we have different personalities. So some devotees are more inclined to something, and others to something else. So in that way, we think to buy this uh, huge land. There we can have the gosha. We can have the gurukul, the temple. We can have some ashram uh, for brahmacharis if they want to join brahmacharinis. Uh, and then we we think to build uh, some uh, grihas to the devotees that they cannot uh, buy their, their own lands, but they can come and live there and serve in the temple as a full-time devotees. But other devotees, that they just want to come uh, for a season or, or they want to live independently, they can buy lands uh, surrounding the temple area. Oh. So they can live independently, uh, build their own houses, and even make their own business, mm. and just be part of the community, be, be mm. part of the Prabhupada's village it is not that everything is centered just in the temple mm. but uh, devotees can live uh, independently that is the idea of the village you have a village and you have the catholic church mm. right but not all the devotees depend on the catholic church they they have their own houses their own business their own cows their own uh, agriculture fields so that is the intention to create this Prabhupada's village in that mm. same way yeah it sounds like 
the vision of the community is to accommodate different levels of independency and interdependency in the community to create more like a natural um, natural natural dynamic that people will actually be willing if someone wants to be dependent he will not do it in a in a conditional way but he will depend in a in a way which will make the situation interdependent like yeah. everyone will benefit from that and someone who doesn't want to be interdependent he wants to be independent there's a possibility for him to as i understood to uh, purchase land or purchase the bungalow the the hut and live and live there and, and associate that's the main as i understand the main sort of like the main inspire one of your main inspirations to create a place a sattvic place where like-minded devotees can just be together and regardless of the global circumstance to practice krishna consciousness yeah it is like that uh, and also because all the devotees sit here uh, there are devotees that are more inclined to brahminical lifestyle and there are others that they are not too inclined to brahminical uh, lifestyle so every everyone fits here why because that is the intention is Ramachandra Prabhu mentioned there is already like a, a Vedic culture system here uh, of Varnas and well not ashrams but Varnas are at least uh, even in the village there are Shudras, mm. there are Vashyas, there are Kshatriyas and there are Brahmanas uh, from the Catholic Church so we think in the same way not that all the the people has to be living in the temple and, and be full-time working in the temple but the devotees that are inclined to, or the devotees who are inclined to, to be brahmacharis, brahmacharinis, mm. brahmanas, take second initiation like that, they can take. Mm. If, not, if somebody is not willing, even Prabhupada says uh, that not all the devotees uh, must take second initiation. It, it depends uh, if the devotees are inclined to this brahminical lifestyle. Mm. Yeah, it sounds like you have a really broad and uh, very inclusive, very inclusive village. I'm also thinking, I, I asked that in the beginning, that was sort of the opening question and I was thinking perhaps before we close to sort of give, I want I, I feel like intuitively I want to deepen, deepen that question a bit more to, to bring like some of like more your personal journey around this uh, vision of sprouting this community here in the village and this shift that I brought up in the beginning that I can relate a lot too to like leaving the city especially the lockdown it sort of mm. forces us to like see what is important in my life where is my sense of freedom really rests what is the foundation of freedom is it where is it more easy for me to practice that freedom and i could see like if i would go now to the city uh, it will be hell and that makes me really question like was it really that good before <laughs> yeah. so that's kind of what made me like think okay i want Maybe I'm not ready to like, okay, moving to the village right away because I still, I like the action and I like the, the, the people, um, mm -hmm. uh, being around people, like maybe doing something more central. But at the same time, I do see that as a vision in my life to center myself more in nature and more choosing my association more, uh, uh, more wisely. And I was thinking, what, what, in, what, inspired, what inspired you to look to that direction? Because... I know Krishna Kishore, he's pretty much well established in, in the city, he has a job, uh, he's, he has a family there too that uh, supports him in, in different ways and he chose to come and make a foundation here in the village and I was wondering what inspired you, what was for you personally what inspired you to do that? Yeah, personally I chose to, to shift or I'm uh, choosing to shift uh, to the village because in, in the city it's very wide life, the life is very wide, it mm. goes like very fast, uh, there is so much stress, uh, so people is so violent, uh, people is very aggressive, your mind is like, like always disturbed, mm -hmm. you go in the subway, you go in the bus and you see many things that your mind is agitated. not like in a satric mood, yeah, mm -hmm. you are always agitated. So, but in the village, when I came here like three years ago, I had not been here for around eight, ten years. Mm. But then I came here, uh, well, when I came, I was not practicing Krishna consciousness like ten years ago. But then uh, three years ago, I came and then it changed like a lot my spiritual practice. Mm -hmm. I felt more infused, mm. I felt more in a sad It solidified your connection with God. Yeah, mm. too much, too much. In the city, sometimes it's 
quite complicated to, to practice but yeah that is the, the idea and if they bodies they they prefer like the city life we are also uh, intending to open a temple in mexico city mm -hmm. so everyone matches their like, city mm -hmm or the village yeah. or this uh, they want to take to Brahminica lifestyle mm. they want to have a, a job they want to have a business they want to have family they want to be uh, brahmacharis everyone mm. is like fitting yeah I guess because I was thinking like what would you say if someone let's say he says oh Krishna Kishore you're running away you're running away to the village you just want to have your comfortable life mm. I mean I get that you still have a, a vision to Mexico City and and there is um, I just if some of you seen my previous episode, I just rented a place here in the city, which is uh, about like 40, 45,000 people live there. And it's quite a, quite a big city. But what would you say, let's, if, like, let's say devotees, I see like different doubts in devotees' mind. Yeah. Uh, devotees who are, let's say, considering thinking about moving to the countryside here or in the States or somewhere else, but they feel like guilty of like leaving the preaching or leaving the people in the city behind to um, suffer and yeah. who will give them Krishna consciousness and yeah. but did you describe it it is a city right but this yes. I yeah. you were reading yesterday it is for uh, 45,000 people ah, living 45. in Puerto ah, I guess right <laughs> yeah. guess. so so you know there are many people uh, mm. to whom you can preach to yeah. like you you already experienced that you are walking and people are saying Hare Krishna, some of them already are aware of Krishna. It's not really running away, there is plenty of work to do anywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every town and village. Every town and village, <laughs> that is the idea, yeah. yeah. And also in Mexico City, uh, we already have some devotees there. Mm. And well, personally, my idea is to go back and forth Mexico City, mm. Puerto Escondido, Mexico City, Puerto Escondido, to develop these, these projects. And yeah, I don't feel that I'm running away. But I'm like adapting to the situation because right now Mexico City is kind of stuck uh, mm. regarding the preaching. Yeah, any big city I experienced, you cannot do anything. You can just sit in your apartment and do live streams. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is right. everything. And so here why you don't you can do in-person gatherings, retreats, yeah. seminars, book distribution, prasadam distribution. Mm. I, I mean, people in the village they they will appreciate uh, mm. too much. Uh, prasadam distribution yes and then if we are combined with kirtan they are like very lively I, i'm sure they are gonna mm -hmm. they're gonna enjoy it. and i already experienced that last time that i came we we're chanting through different villages and they appreciate the mm -hmm. the chanting so i think that's good what would you say in terms of the language barrier because i i personally i don't speak really spanish maybe somewhat i understand uh how would you Put that into contrast let's say someone wants to come here and he doesn't speak a word in spanish doesn't understand is it um, how how to prepare for that let's say or yeah well many devotees from outside are are willing to come from ukraine from germany oh, okay. uh, from england from the states and i assume from they're not colombia fluent in spanish yeah they are not most of them don't know and uh, oh. not a uh, uh, not even a single word oh, in, in okay. Spanish, but I mean is there are like many devotees from outside the the common language is English and then mm. if they w are willing to learn Spanish then little by little yeah. uh, They can learn so that is the, the idea that at least even children if they grow up here They can oh, yeah. learn they English can learn. Link English and Spanish. Yeah, I learned as a child. I grew up in three different countries <laughs> and my first different country Israel I, I learned the native language in a month just going to the kindergarten so yeah i think for children especially it's very easy and uh also i think the point that the community you vision you envision the community to be international and also the city itself my experience of puerto escondido I, i'm staying here already for about two three weeks and there's so many people who do speak english and also yeah learning spanish spanish i don't i don't see that as such a big obstacle if, if there is a will, there is a way, and it's a beautiful language to learn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And also, uh, I would like to add that probably some devotees may wonder if it is safe to, to be here. Oh, right. Because right. of the <laughs> reputation of Mexico. But actually, uh, this place, Puerto Escondido, Bajo mm. de Chile, all these uh, villages around Puerto Escondido, they are very, very safe. Yes. And even more for from outsiders. 
uh, what to speak uh, for for Mexican people is uh, safe. What to speak of outsiders? Yeah. So they don't have to worry for. Yeah, I for personally that. too experienced that. How the difference between Mexico City and here? That people are much more respectful to outsiders mm -hmm. and much more welcoming. And like I walk at night sometimes to the beach and I feel totally safe where yeah. in Mexico City many places if a Western does that yeah, yeah. probably something gonna happen so yeah this especially this province is very very peaceful and how, how can devotees or anyone who is interested following up with you around this project or other projects how he can get in touch with you Prabhu? Yeah, we have a website, this uh, harikrishna.mx mm -hmm. and then there we have like different social media contact info so they can reach reach me there or if they want to add me on Facebook and they want to write a line they mm. can do it, it's Krishna Kishore Das mm. Krishna Kishore Das Instagram too, you have email Yeah, there in the website I think they can reach me it is in Spanish but if you just go to the contact uh, section then the WhatsApp is there, mm -hmm. the email is there, the phone is there, fully, everything is there. You're fully available to communicate directly with the people who might be... Yeah, yeah, and many people is getting more and more interested in, nice. in coming here and to know about the project. Uh, some others are donating, uh, some night devotees are donating. We, are, uh, we already have the half mm. uh, of the collections to buy the, the lands, mm. so that is, uh, these are good news. Mm. and then we can start uh, buildings also mm. because we are going to have this uh, website nuevagokula.com uh, we name it like that Nueva Gokula, New Gokul ah, New Gokul yeah yeah yeah, that, yeah that's the name of the project or the community or yeah from the, the temple website. the community the wow, land we are going to get like Raman Reti <laughs> yeah so so we are going to have this website there with some 3D models uh, some pictures uh, and also some info about the, the collections some donations um nice stuff there yeah new goku new new goku i like that name yeah yeah and it really fits because like the sandy i think you explained that the, the soil here is somewhat sandy right yeah and cows are grazing all around us yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i i'm looking forward to see how how this project develops in years years to come of course yeah, yeah. thank you krishna Kishapur. Hare krishna i'm gonna link down below in the description all the links and contacts of Krishna Kishore. Thank you for watching and let me know down in the comments what do you think about this amazing place. Hare Krishna and all glories to Shri Prabhupada. Jai Shri Prabhupada.